Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about HiveOS versus Windows 11, talking about the speed, talking about some of the features, talking about the reason why we did not switch to HiveOS, you know, a year, two years ago, three years ago, why we're only thinking about it now. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to set up a crypto mining farm such as ASIC or GPU mining farm, or if you're looking to buy yourself some GPUs, go to CryptoLLC.org and uh, send us an email, look at our uh, inventory, our marketplace, see if anything you like. You have 3090s, 3080s, 3070s, and so on. All right, so if you guys are watching our channel, you'll know that we ran most of our rigs on Windows 11. So on Windows 11, let me switch to it here. It's our Windows 11 rig. On Windows 11, here are our results, right? You're running 3080s. Now these cards here, 3080s, 3090s, are all FE cards. So these are all non-LHR, you know, 3090s, non-LHR anyway, but give you an idea of what kind of cards they are. They're all FE cards, 3090s, 3080s, both rigs. They're right next to each other, about a foot away. In the same warehouse, same area, same motherboard, same RAM, same riser, same everything, same uh, processor, um, PSUs, and so on. Same cards, all FE, 3090, 3080. So the Hive OS and the Windows 11 are both running the same everything. They're also running the same G minor. So basically everything is the same, except one thing. You'll see that none of our cards here are having such hot temperatures. Now the reason why the temperature is not that hot is because we are actually scaling down some of these cards. You can see here, we are scaling down the cards. You can see right here, 99, 99, 97, 79. So GPU 6 right here was really uh, overheating, so it was scaled down to 79 power. And we're taking off power off that card to prevent the VRAMs from going over, right? So that's what the point of it. Now for Hive OS, they don't have that. They have VRAM temperatures. So one of the things about VRAM temperatures for HiveOS is uh, they did not exist before. This is a new feature they added in the past month. And this was the main reason why we did not switch to HiveOS, why we went with Windows 11, is because we did not want to run our GPU mining farms uh, without knowing the VRAM temperatures. We don't want to plug in cards and have cards fry at 110 and just keep thermal throttling 24-7. You can see this card is hot. And uh, again, this is our test rig, so we're going to have uh, the developers add some features we're looking for. And then if they add those features, we'll upgrade it to all of our rigs. So we're running this for now. It's just temporary rig. But you can see it's overheating. 108 is too hot. Um, it's still running at 124 mega hashes, so everything is fine, but the te VRAM temperatures are too hot. But imagine, a couple of months ago, you wouldn't even be able to see these numbers. They did not exist. You could not see the memory temperature numbers. So again, we, we would just could not run... Uh, mining rigs like that we had to run Windows 11 so that's the main reason but now that that's there that's great the only problem is that we did not have the automatic scale down of GPUs so in this situation right here where it's 108 um, automatic scale down would what would that mean is that the locked core which is 1200 which controls how much power is going to the card would scale down so let's say um, Hive OS was running and then it sees that 108 is too hot so to take off some of this locked core from 1200 to 1880 then 860 i mean um 1180 1160 1140 and so on keep scaling it down until that vram temperature drops to a user set value so you know let's say you set the value to 100 so it'll keep scaling it down and down and down and down and down until you get to 100. so that's what we're trying to do on hive os but we don't have that feature yet so hopefully they add it all right, now in terms of performance, you guys can pause the video, take a look at the performance numbers here. We have a 98.3, 0.3, Now these are not super overclocked cards. They're just at 2,000, so it'd be equivalent of 1,000 megahertz, mega hashes on Windows, since you're doubling it on Linux, on HiveOS. Um, so those numbers are decent. Uh, and again, the reason why we didn't go to you know 2,200 is because we want to make it stable. So 98.3 is stable enough for us. Um, <clears throat> The other thing is uh, 3090. So you can see 3090 is 124.9, 124.9, good numbers. Um, over here, this one's overheating as well. That's why we manually set the, uh, it's supposed to be 1,200 for 3090s. And you can see that it's 1,000 here for this card because of that VRAM. So VRAM temperatures are too hot. We manually set it to 1,000. It's pretty warm outside. So as nighttime comes, that'll drop from 108 down to 
hundred and you know four or a hundred hundred and one and so on. So it's okay for now. Again, it's just a test rig. Now for um, these other thirty nineties right here, this is good. This is good. And then uh, where's that other thirty? There it is. This thirty ninety. One, two. Where is that other thirty ninety? Or did I, I think I just mixed up with the other rig? Um, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea. Now let's go to our Windows rig. So our Windows rig here, you can see our 3090s are 120, 120, right? It's a little bit slower, a little bit slower. But you can see this card right here is running at 100, and it has 104. So something's going on with this card. Now what happened to that card? That card is uh, ID number 6. If we look over here to our program, ID number 6, we can see that it is at 79. These are power settings. So we gave that card 79% uh, percent power, which it's for a 39, it should be at 100. So we all, we took away a lot of the power, and that's why it's at 104, because our program does not allow the, the uh, VRAM to run uh, hotter than 104. That's the maximum the program allows. So it scaled it down to 79. That stabilized the VRAM temperatures at 104, which gave it a speed of 104. Oh, actually, that matches up, 104, 104, 104 mega hashes. Um, these other cards up here, four and five, you can see four and five are downscaled a tiny bit, one point here and three points there on number four. So we can see that scale down some of the mega hashes from 124 down to 120. So this is how we run our operation on Windows 11. We don't allow any of the VRAM temperatures to overheat. We keep everything nice and cool. You can see these 3080s are running just fine, 98.2, 98.5, and so on. So that gives you a comparison between HiveOS and Windows 11. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is... Um, the uh, some of our rigs, if for those who are running like 13, 12, you know, 13, 14 GPU rigs, you guys probably notice that sometimes you log in and you'll see a random card just running like at half the speed. So let's say instead of 98, it'll be running like at 55 for no reason at all. And that's really, really annoying. And the only way to fix that is to do like a display restart, which is what we have here on the program. We actually added that into the program. It'll restart the display. So that works, but I mean, you're, stop, you're, you're stopping the mining process and then you're restarting the mining process. It's a waste of time. Also, on top of that, um, that problem can just keep uh, happening you know, all the time. So it's a real, real, real uh, waste of time, you know, waste of money as well. But on Hive, I have still not seen that issue, any, you know, not even once. Um, if I log in at, to Hive at any given time, every single 3080 is running basically at the same speed, you know, 98.3, 98.3, you know, and so on. None of them are running uh, slower than that. So everything is running great on Hive OS, 124.9, 124.9. They're not even like, there's barely any difference here. Um, so it's really, really good on Hive OS. That's one of the big pluses. Um, so to recap, uh, we did not use Hive OS because of VRAM. Now it has VRAM, then we're asking for a second feature from HiveOS to um, allow it to scale down, up and down, based on VRAM temperatures and the preset uh, core clock lock, locked core clock that we set. So if they add that, then that'll be a deal maker, then we'll switch over from Windows. Um, and then of course on uh, HiveOS, you're not seeing that half drop in, ha in hash rate for no good reason like you would see on a Windows rig. So that's fixed as well. So some, some, of, the thi some of these things are fixed. Um, and uh, some are not yet. All right, so that's going to be the difference between them. Hope you guys liked the video. Have any questions? You guys, leave a comment for Hive OS or for Windows 11 mining G Miner, uh, mining Ethereum. So if you guys uh, <clears throat> have any questions, leave a comment. And uh, again, if you guys are looking to buy yourself some GPUs, go to cryptollc.org. I have a marketplace there: 3070s, 3080s, 3090s, 1660s, and so on. And uh, make sure you subscribe because if this works out with HiveOS in the near future, then we will switch all of our rigs to HiveOS when they add that secondary feature, as I just mentioned. And that's going to be it for this for this one. And until next time, bye.